At this time, we have UCLA head coach Kelly Inouye Perez, uh, student athlete Paige Halstead, and student athlete Rachel Garcia. Coach, we'll start with general comments about the game, then we'll open up for questions. Um, yeah, I think first and foremost, want to, you know, be able to give LSU, you know, credit. They came out and, and they were able to throw the first punch and score first. Um, but I'm very proud of my team. You know, they, they do what we've done to be able to get here and they punch back. Um, you know, it comes down to some critical moments in the game. Uh, we practice hours and hours to be able to get to a point where you can play your best at the end. And it's unfortunate that, you know, things don't always get to bounce in your favor. Um, but I told the girls, um, you know, we've nothing has been very smooth for this team this year. Um, so we're experienced in that. You know, we're going to own it. We're going to figure out what the next step is. We get a day off tomorrow to be able to have an opportunity to kind of regroup and recover. Um, but we're nowhere near even thinking about being able to end our season. Um, so I'm excited that we have another opportunity. I have a great deal of belief in this, in this Bruin team and this program. And now is when experience kicks in. Um, I shared with them in uh, 2003, we lost game one, um, but in a whole different way. We just didn't show up and play our game and uh, didn't feel really good. Today, we played UCLA softball. I'm proud of them. Um, but I also said we need to figure out how to be 1% better to be able to get after the next W. Uh, so we'll regroup. And like I said, the experience kicks in. In 2003, we lost game one and we came back, went the hardest route, and we got ourselves back and we won a championship. So I know it's possible, but we got to play the game one pitch at a time. All right, we'll open up for questions. Yeah, just raise your hand and bring the mic. You guys left seven runners on base today. It has to be frustrating um, to see that number, right? It's the game. You know, I mean, we've also, you know, I told the girls today, if we had an opportunity to blow it out, great. If we had to win it by one, great. Um, it does come down to timely hitting, but it's not really about, you know, you don't have the luxury when you're facing the, 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 the pitchers that we're facing here at the series to be able to just pick up every RBI. Um, but it does come down to defense. And defense, in the end, does win championships. And, and unfortunately, um, you know, they, they, they were able to get away with being able to score that scrappy go-ahead run. Um, and it made a difference. But I don't think it was necessarily about the LOBs. It's about defense. And, and we both played well enough to be able to win today. Rachel, um, were you nervous at all coming into today? Or was it just you know, kind of them being able to jump on you early? I mean. I mean, for me, it was just another game. I mean, yeah, it's a different stadium, but it didn't bother me at all that we were in a bigger area. For Coach, you, you, you were able to speak to the umpire after the obstruction call. How was it explained to you? Um, I think it was explained, uh, you know, she made the call. I disagreed with the call. And I still stand by that. I think as especially knowing that uh, um, as a former catcher, it's very frustrating to be able to see that type of a call being made with a perfect throw with an opportunity on a bang banger. She had ball well before the runner. It's just an unfortunate situation. Uh, so I talked to her about that, about being able to truly understand um, the call that she made. And uh, she stood by it. John McKelvey, Norman Transcript. Paige, um, what goes through your mind when you see that play uh, evolving and, and you see the ball coming in and you're trying to plant your feet? I mean, how much do you think about obstruction? How much do you think about uh, the play that was at hand? Um, you know, you don't think about it a lot. It's a bang-bang play. Um, our right fielder made a great throw. You dream about making those plays when you're a little girl and you're a catcher, and I don't think I blocked the pathway. Um, she made a great throw, and it was a bang-bang play, and... It is what it is in the past, and just looking forward to move on. Are there any other questions? If not, LSU plays on Saturday at 11 a.m., and they take on Texas A&M. Coach, ladies, thank you. I was correcting UCLA. I apologize. Yep. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? SoftballJunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to SoftballJunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket.
This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv. 